alone that's going to be really fun to continue to watch how Cropper and Merritt respond to each other. Almost had such a fantastic playoff season too. But an almost unprecedented run from two teams in the lower bracket. That was the Hangzhou Spark and the San Francisco Shock. But the Shock look, well, they look bad. They look angry. They want to get back at the Outlaws for knocking them so early down into that loser's bracket. It was a five-map series. Houston looking to maybe spawn hold. Might as well take the early fight on this map, especially with these comps. They are quick. They can be quite clean. Is Striker really going to roll out with... The Bastion. Well, we've got five uh, seconds to find uh, out. Uh, and I'm sorry, uh, everybody. Uh, that Bastion isn't going to happen, but that teleporter will. But it's immediately taken out there by the Houston Outlaws. So that San Francisco Shock have to now invest cooldowns to be able to meet them on top of these train cars. Ooh. Give us the guy with the hat. This Bastion back. I nice start by Outlaws. See how the Shock wanna really do this? Do they just wanna keep touching the payload? Just trying to inch it closer, just so Outlaws have to respond. They got to wait for Violet regardless. Another engagement here from Kalouch. Very super safe fighting all the way back as well. Hasn't got high ground, but still a fairly decent angle at the approaching Shock members. Speaking of which, Kalouch and get a headshot. Proper starts it off pretty well though, with a kill onto Dante, even sliding into the back line. Taking creative, like what was that dash in from Proper? Ultimate. Disrespect, like this confidence just exuding from this guy right now. Always just taken up to the front lines. And the Houston Outlaws, they do lose that first fight there, Rose, but they're gonna get another couple of attempts to defend. Well, we see this a few times where the soldiering will get so aggressive because they know that they have the Lucio there to taxi them away to safety. But also when those Kirigo can lay down those Suzu, you can play a bit more aggressively and in the front line. Oh, he's got a good sideline. There's a lot of heads going through his crosshair right now. Try and take out his like for like in Merit, who's also built up to another railgun shot. Oh, violent! Okay, okay, I see you. Trusted his movement there over Merit's aim, and he ends up coming out on top. Halo moving so close to that first point, and here comes the Kitsune rushes. Oh, Merit in a little bit of trouble, already, already has to back away. There's two of those DPS ults are online right now, those overclocks. But with that later beat from the Houston Outlaws, I don't think Shock want to be a part of this one. No, Shock are going to have to back off here, especially after that beat was invested by Lastro. That's going to be both supportive ultimates off the board for both teams, and now we're really looking at Houston Outlaws to cycle through the DPS ultimates that they have. Pelican could go for a cheeky Death Blossom, maybe Mira goes in for the overclock right on top of Big Earls, or just across the way on that high ground. But Proper's ready with an overclock too. Who gets their head taken off first? All right, payload currently in. Oh, I was scared there. Thought maybe Merritt had a, a little railgun ready for it. Primary H for Dante, but he's already half HP. Proper actually bucks into the Reaper, who blocks that power slide away as the Death Blossom will start to hurt. Now is only Reapers, the DPS available for both teams as the Sojourn does end up going down. And now Kalouch taking the brunt of this damage from Pelican. A good hold for the Outlaws right now. Only a minute to go in the San Francisco shot forced to reset. They're gonna reset though with a pretty big ultimate advantage when it comes to Striker and Proper, ready to unleash that Death Blossom and Overclock. Houston Outlaws have invested a lot into these last few fights. Oh. And Lastro down, Creative's gotta get this Kitsune Rush online. He does, yeah, but it might not even matter because look at the speed, the pace. Striker unleashing that Death Blossom. No more ults required. The Shock. They're going to wipe Outlaws. They're going to get those doors open. Great defensive hold from the Houston Outlaws on this first point. But they're still fighting right now to keep up with the ultimate rotation. Look how far Proper is playing out. I know. I mean, look at all of the healing that he's getting from Finn at long range with those cards. And then as well, just be able to get these angles as Kalouge goes in and takes the brunt of that damage up front so that Proper has space to oh, operate. Nice boot. That was a really nice boot there. You see Proper was trying to take the high ground. He was booped away mid power slide, so he was forced back down to earth. Oh, there it is. He's waiting for Proper. He's forcing Proper in a situation he doesn't want to be. That bubble is pretty nice, actually protects Merit's little head. 
from getting shot off. And there's the power slide away. Straight up to the high ground. It's Houston Outlaws right now are backing up, giving a lot of space to the shock. Katsune Rush on the stairs. Now Bob is in danger. That Katsune Rush not really aiding him in the battle for the high ground there. As the Houston Outlaws also use that P for Lastro. They do end up getting it off, but not really sure what that overhealth went to. Two minutes to go. As Merrick making this even. A kill onto Kalush is good enough as the payload is still in hot contention. Creative getting a little low there, but able to swift step away to safety as the reinforcements from the Houston Outlaws come back in to bolster up the defense. Kalush now for the shock, also making his way back over to the payload as Proper tries to set up for this overclock with the disruptor shot on top. Overclock for Merritt needs a bit of help, but maybe he doesn't actually. He's got one kill in the bag already. Proper in his sights. Merritt with a double kill. One minute and 30 seconds to go. And the Houston Outlaws, they are standing strong. Their ultimate economy wasn't looking so hot maybe a couple team fights ago, but now the Houston Outlaws get to play with a bit more confidence with Dante's Primal Rage at the ready. And when Pelican has been able to hit these massive Death Blossoms, this is a great way for the Houston Outlaws to keep this defense strong. They only have a minute oh. to go, and that's a big pick. A big pick onto Violet. A big pick. If the Outlaws chase right here, this will be final fight. A beautiful dive from Dante. And the damage follow-up is there. A triple kill for the Outlaws now as they force Shock into last fight. And they still have ultimates to work with. Houston Outlaws too. Could add another one to the bank where Lastro has that sound barrier up and ready. Pelly, so where's Pelican? Pelly, Pelly. Where's Pelican? He's oh, waiting. Okay. okay, Shock, six fences about him. They don't fall for it. Yep, they're not going through that ca those caves. Four ults available for the Outlaws. Final fight initiated. A Katsune rush on the high ground. And Kalush taking an absolute truckload of damage. Proper, isolated, but still holding the fort down. The payload needs to be touched as the time is whittling down to the Outlaws. They've still got the beat. They've still got the death bottom. And they're going to find the kills. That beat was overkill in this situation. Kalush comes back on the doom. He goes for the punch, swings, and misses! As the Outlaws will hold them on second point. Hopes and dreams of Outlaws fans here in Anaheim are alive. And right at the perfect time, as the Shock look at match point for this first to three series. This is Houston Outlaws map pick. Also feels like it uh, thematic. Feels thematic for the Outlaws to go over to Route 66 for this one. But the job's not done yet. Yeah. Because they still have to switch sides. Secret 5% damage buff, maybe? I don't know. Secret 5% aim buff for Merit. I mean, Merit is just so good on the Sojourn. Look rather suppressed to begin with. And now doubling the final blows off proper with eight over the four. Couple less deaths as well. 30% of his team's damage is currently dishing out. I wonder if Shock, if they do go down here, Rose, will we see Mikey sub back in at Fort Kaluge? Something that they've not really done before. Well, we're gonna have to find out because we still have one round to go here on Route 66. Our Houston Outlaws are looking to get back into this series. And San Francisco Shock are gonna start out their defensive hold here on top of the train cars, just like the Houston Outlaws did. So how do Houston respond? Do they send Dante in? At least they're gonna send in the disruptor shot first to see if they can pepper down some damage and clean it up. Decent boot there on to Dante. Stops him, tag team him with Pelican on the high ground. Draw strength from nature. Just a slowly but surely building up of those rail guns. Feeling really good on Kalouz right now, almost turned the pocket. They do lose high ground for a brief moment. Headshot by Finn actually sends on the outlaws pretty damn low, so they're gonna have to back off. The Houston, though, they're more than happy actually just to jump with this payload right now, forcing Shock into a position where they need to touch. It's actually proper of all people right now contesting the payload. He's on the low ground and in danger too. Use that power slide to get away as the Suzu comes out from the outlaws so they can't get one tapped by proper. 
Capello's making his way through this first corner. No kills just yet for either side. Very steady progression here from the Outlaws to start to round this first corner as that Winston bubble comes down from Kaluj, but it's just a constant disengage as the Houston Outlaws just keep making free progress with this cart. Where's that first pick gonna come through? Copper's charging up to that railgun, wants to unleash it to be able to take out a big damage threat for Houston. Oh, Mara's already used his railgun, Papa knows he has an advantage, but... The rest of the Outlaws are there to the rescue. Kitsune rushes for both teams, and now is Robber's time to farm. Pelican, though, in the front line, is going to have to back out. A beat, though, sends him back, careening back in. Brave form exited. Finn on the sidelines, actually forced away from the rest of his team. But this Primal Rage is at least finding some semblance in this fight. It's just monkey on monkey action right now as both Primals finding kills. Two minutes to go for the Outlaws. Kind of defying the odds right now. The Sojourns are not in this game. It is mainly just the Winstons. Pelican's got that Death Blossom online. He's going to be waiting for the opportunity to use it, though, as the rest of the Houston Outlaws come back. Oh, beautiful boop there onto Striker. In fact, same for Pelican. Also got escorted away. Oh, proper. Proper's just slid behind the enemy team. He's, he's 13 HP. He's gonna hopefully find Finn, but no, Finn ends up going down. But look at the courage, the bravery of Proper right now. 20 HP and still trying to find value from his position. Striker still kills Dante. This is an absolute bloodbath. The sound barrier for the shock is good. Osmeric is chased down. He still managed to find the kill onto Striker though. It's him holding down the fort, but Proper unleashing the railgun. He finds two, make that three. Proper with the rail, holding it down for the San Francisco shock. That payload was just meters away from capturing that first objective, but Proper comes in to save the day. That defense now from the Shock, able to hold strong, as Shock now look at Finn and Stryker to keep this defense up for the Shock. Outlaws with maybe just two more pushes to keep their playoff dreams alive. You've got to think. It's on Merritt right now. He's trying to find the angles. The beat comes in. Pelican ends up going down though before he receives that over health. But the rest of the San Francisco shot, more than happy to back up right now as they know the payload is in an immediate danger of being capped. And here comes the re-engage. A Gintune rush is good. Lastro ends up falling. Creative Scott gets to rush to his own, but this will be last fight if Proper has anything to say about it. Pelican forced all the way back. 30 seconds before the Outlaws can kiss their hopes and dreams of touching that trophy goodbye. Houston Outlaws are going to have to come back into this one pretty quickly with how far that payload has progressed. Creative as that kid's going to rush available, but Striker! Heading up the Death Blossom, forcing Lastro away, and there's the kill they needed. Five seconds to go, but Merit and Creative come up large. They're defying the god odds to upset the gods. Mary with a two-piece with the overclock. Make that three. The Outlaws will not go down without a fight. And that fight is going to keep Houston Outlaws' dreams alive as they capture this first objective on Route 66 and get them two and a half minutes added to their time bank. They had to use a lot of ultimates there. That was a pretty heavy investment, but they will still have Pelican's Death Blossom as he starts to get set up on that high ground. The surprise shock as they move in. Already Kutsune Rashu's by great. They've had to use that Swifter to get out of there. An entire five-man dive from the shock to try and open this one up, and they've actually just taken control of the payload, usurped it away from the Outlaws. Kaluz uses the Primal Rage there to be able to get away, but Houston Outlaws, they just keep pushing the pressure as we get back to the first point, and Pelican starts to wrap around. This is a really awkward fight right now. The San Francisco shop refusing to let this payload get in. Normally it's better as the doors end up closing, but easy of you to kind of track people down, and finally they get off the point, and the doors will close behind the Outlaws but not shot on them just yet. Proper with his foot in the door. Takes care of Creative. A minute and 30 seconds to go. The Outlaws, they better be good at fighting under pressure because they're under an immense amount of pressure now. Proper holding down the fort with that disruptor shot. And after Pelican goes down, he still needs to be able to get back into a position to use this Death Blossom. Houston Outlaws have a minute remaining to be able to get this push over the line to that green box of victory and get a map on the board. But Houston 
They're getting met at the doors by the shock. That Death Blossom actually just pushed away from the rest of the shock. Proper, you can't be serious. He's still taking names. The Houston Outlaws maybe have one final fight now to try and get this payload in. Pelican at least evens the battlefield, but no Wraith Form left. He has to just back away. Doesn't even receive the beat. The Outlaws are getting pushed to their final limits. 30 seconds to go, and that payload just barely moved. The pill is going to get starting to move a little bit here, but Cropper's looking to shut everything down here with the overclock. And if Shock do it, with 20 seconds remaining, they will be able to move forward. And yeah, no more bubbles. Dante in trouble. Creative and Lastro have to just taxi the team away. They know they have 10 seconds to go to keep their playoff dreams alive for the Houston Outlaws with a whole flood of ultimates coming in. A bit of sustain. Dante's gonna have to use his Primal Rage. Two seconds though, can anybody touch? Pelican's on the point, he's already used that. No, Pauper! He's already used the Wraith and now Parrot is gonna use his Overclock. The Outlaws are pushing on. Striker dead. The Primal Rage saves Kalush for now. Does get back to the rest of the team. They will have another touch, but Dante's got the Primal of his own. Dante's gonna have to be able to juggle people away from the point right now. Houston, they need your support to be able to sink this over the line. Overtime's going to tick down in just a moment. Pelican has to be the one to touch the payload. Dante used that Primal Rage and Proper is the main target. An overclock in hand. He used it, but Dante's completely denying the space. Lashro, Pelican take way too much damage. Merit goes down The San Francisco Shock are pushing on forward. Striker with a 2K and a 3-0 for the Shock. The pursuit of greatness is a long road for the shock of nearly retracing their steps. A third trophy in their sights. They take the win and see themselves facing the fuel in the grand finals.